you come in here on a sunny day, you'll see um, the building has a daylight harvesting system. During a tour of the new Carl J. Shapiro Science Center, community members learned about green roofs, occupancy sensors, and other sustainable elements being used in buildings as part of the university's new plan to become climate neutral by 2050. Jana Cohen Rosenthal chaired the plan development team. The Climate Action Plan is a really significant accomplishment for Brandeis. We've created many ideas and strategies of how we can use less energy and how we can reduce our carbon impact. The university has reduced energy use by 10 percent since 2005 and plans to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by another 15 percent over the next five years through a combination of conservation, efficiency upgrades, and the use of renewable energy. President Yehuda Reinhars recently announced a large solar project at the Great Green Ideas for Brandeis and Beyond event. We have agreed to install 277 kilowatt of solar electricity panels on the roof of the Gosman Sports and Convocation Center. The positive carbon reduction is equal to planting 6,000 trees or reducing 26,949 gallons of gasoline. The solar project is being funded through an innovative power purchase agreement initiated by Students for Environmental Action. A local renewable energy company will own the panels and Brandeis will buy the energy produced, saving as much as $1 million over the next 25 years. We as a community are committed to this green movement. Every light you turn off and every window you close during the winter to save heat contributes to this communal effort. The university is investing in efficiency and the community can change some of their behaviors in really simple ways. Another really important step that people can take is becoming a low carbon commuter. And that's basically everyone changing one day of their commute to be a little le lower carbon. So that's carpooling, biking, walking, uh, telecommuting if that's possible. To encourage sustainable choices, first year students were given discounts to the move in market, a resale of gently used goods donated last May, along with personal recycling bins, CFL light bulbs, and ideas for green living. We have very progressive goals, uh, right in line with peer institutions, sometimes. Uh, more progressive than others. Matt Schmidt is president of Students for Environmental Action. C will be proposing an opt-out green fee for students that could fund future campus sustainability initiatives. We're coming out of a financial crisis so I expect the next couple years will be hard but I really urge you know the university and everyone involved to to buckle down and find ways to make this happen because a plan is only a plan unless we find a way to enact it.